my very first Sloan. Finally, Lilith, do me a solid and give me one copy of Sloan from the free summer pass and I will buy your summer pass. Bump up my rates a little bro. Alright, so my Sloan is level 60. Um, I've tried to run her in the Forbidden team and I think it's time for me to retire my R0 Tever or R1 Tever even because my R0, D0, no skill ups, no bitches Sloan gets a better score than what I would get if I were to run Tever in this team. Nothing changed. All I did was swap out Tever for Sloan. Same set, same lineup, same sets on everyone. And Sloan gives me a better score despite having zero investment. So I'm, I'm gonna show you a few uh, runs with Tever. Maybe I'll do like three runs. All right, so Tever gets me around 1.1 million. Um, and then the rest of the team looks somewhat like this. Again, I don't have any resonance on my Sloan. So she is freezing my units whenever she S3. I don't even have skill ups on her S3. So um, she doesn't have a good uptime on the Adetic buff. Yeah, I mean, even without a good uptime on the Adetic buff, I'm still getting better score than Run Tevro. Alright, let's pull out the calculator real quick and see how much uh, damage this team does. Alright, so the Tever team gets me around 8.7 million. And that's also pretty high RNG. I'll give it one more try. See if it uh, can break that high score. 8.7. And then I'll swap out to Sloan and show you the score. Okay, we got 60 million. Not bad. Ooh, okay. I think this one is higher. Alright, this one is higher. So we got 9.3 million. Now I'll swap out to Sloan. Alright, again, same set on Sloan. Uh, with a little bit of variation. I actually give her less speed than Tever because she doesn't really need speed. All she needs is just uh, DPS. Again, this is zero investment Sloan. And so far, not looking too good. Okay, not looking too good. I think we got bad RNG right here. Okay, 52 million. Pretty bad RNG again. Okay, this one looks better. But I don't think this is breaking the Tever team size score. So this one, we got pretty close to beating the Tever score. Only 1.3 less. We'll go one more time. Alright. Okay. I think this one definitely beat the, the Tever score. If it doesn't beat it and it gets like the same amount, then I'm still going to use the Steam instead of the Tever comp because, again, she's at zero investment right now. And my Tever has D4 and also uh, Resonance 1. And there it is. I broke the Tever high score, being 9.3 million. Yeah, it's crazy how R0 Sloan is out DPSing Tever that has Divinate 4 and also Max skilled up and also Resonance 1, by the way. Okay, so completely unrelated to the game. Did any of you like watch the ending to My Hero Academia? I don't even watch the anime anymore or read the manga. I just watch like the ending. Like people post it on TikTok and whatever. I got spoiled like to hell. If you don't want any spoilers, just skip like 20 to 30 seconds into the video. But dude. The, the TikTok videos are so brutal, man. They roasted the hell out of Deku, bro. Flip my burger, little bro. <laughs> Grape my papers, little bro. The ending was so trash, man. I stopped the anime around when they uh, showed a character that he was supposed to be a villain, but the, the stuff that he does is all like heroic stuff. And I think his name was like Mr. Mr. Evil or something. I don't know. But yeah, at that point, it became super boring. But um, I saw this one TikTok with like the most diabolical comment to ever exist. It's the usual TikTok video of roasting Deco, you know, grade my papers and stuff. But there's one comment that just had me dying. And it says, Bo's about to be the main villain called All For Nothing. Nah, that's, that's just beyond diabolical. That's too much. All For Nothing. Legit bro, like <laughs> Deku, <laughs> Deku did all of that for nothing, but yeah, let's get back to the video. Alright, we're finally at team 3, yeah, we'll see how Sloan works. Again, this is zero investment Sloan, with no resonance, meaning that she will freeze my units. But there's one thing that I've just found out, that her freeze on your allies can be resisted. I think I did see a couple of times that my Sienna uh, resisted the, the freeze. This is not even the best team for her because I'm not using units like Liam or Chu Yao to help her S1 spam. And she's already doing this well, right? Better than Tever even. So yeah, her damage is 260,000 
with no investment at all, which is insane. And part of the reason why this team got higher damage than uh, as opposed to Tever, even though her damage is pretty much Id uh, identical to Tever, is because of this debuff right here. The speed down on the boss is pretty much permanent unless the boss cleanses it, but Forbidden does not cleanse, so it's pretty much going to stay on the boss forever. So yeah, that's a permanent 50% uh, speed down on the boss. So right here, you can see the effects of not having her S3 maxed out. Um, I have two downturns on her Aedetic buff. Even when she gets a turn right here, I don't think she's going to cast her S3. Because her cooldown is on a 4 turn, while the Aedetic buff is on a 4 turn, or 2 turn cooldown, right? So she's going to uh, cast the S1 instead of the S3. Oh, never mind, I lied. Oh, there we go. You saw the um, Elaine resisted the freeze from my Sloan. Once I get her to R2 and max skilled up, I think I might swap her into the Liam plus Chu Yao team. But right now, she doesn't do enough DPS uh, as opposed to my R6 Daji which currently uses my Liam and also my Embla which currently uses Chu Yao. Yeah, as you can see, I have another downtime with her. This is a lot of downtime by not having her S3 maxed out but it's still getting a better score than Tever. So yeah, I'm going to be retiring my Tever. Um, he's not in any of this team, Forbitter, Sonica, and also Dark Starlord. In Desolate Lands though, Tever is still like one of the best DPS you can bring. So there's that. But in Falsetto Fantasy, his damage kind of falls short at this point. So yeah, pretty insane. Zero investment Sloan is better than my D4 Tever and R1. Max skilled up as well. Ciao.